<laughs> what up guys, welcome to day two in Tokyo. I'm here with Dave's in the back. What's up guys? We got Steve. Dave in the back. And uh, who, do, who are our boys in the front? Shoji's our driver today. Shoji's our driver. Shoji's our driver. Yeah. There's Nino. Nino oh, again. Hold on. What's with like all the mirrors? What's the deal with all, like they got multiple mirrors, the cars talk to you, they got this extra like dash cam thing. It's kind of a big deal here. I told you man, things in Japan are a little different than the way we're used to them, especially in car stuff and accessories. You're always going to see those big mirrors on the cars, no question about it. That's yeah. Tokyo Bay to your left. Yeah. Exactly. And this is? Over there, this is the city of Tokyo and that's Asakusa and that's called Tokyo Sky Tree, that massive tower. Oh yeah. That I believe is in Asia, the tallest tower in all of Asia. It's called the Tokyo Sky Tree. Right now, we're heading to Yokohama. Yes. To a tuner shop. That's correct. And they tune and modify D1 yep. drift cars. For competition. Yep. I'm super excited about that. High horsepower, very complex tuning builds. GTRs, GTRs, Supras, drift cars, all kinds We're of stuff. We're getting right into the JDM stuff. Absolutely. This, the trucks here are just super, super cool. I think they're so cool. They're so different than our trucks. Nothing against Peterbilt's and Kenworth, but when you come here and you don't see these trucks all the time and you look at them, there's something so cool about them, right? Oh, this is a straight job. Look at this massive straight job. That's the one. You see the second set of wheels behind the front ones? Yeah, they yeah, turn. Yeah. They all turn it together. All four with the wheels. Turning. This one Those right here? Turn right here, yeah. Really? Yeah, so cool. When you my Garo does things. that. Oh, it's Garo. <laughs> Convenience store. This is a family mart. In Japanese, they say Famima. Famima. They agree with a hot dog and a close. Red Bull. A hot dog and a Red Bull? Yeah. A Japanese garbage truck. Dude, this thing is tiny. It's Suzu L. They gotta yeah. be small because of the neighbors they go into, but look at the ability. In fact, it looks like they even got a little peep window so you know how much garbage you got up in here, too. <laughs> it's really small but super efficient garbage trucks. Everything here is like significantly smaller. Small but efficient. And it so has to be that way in this country. The beauty of a Japanese convenience store is that everything is in here. Everything from what you need, from waking up in the morning, brushing your teeth, right to when you go to bed. Not only food, but all your personal hygiene stuff. Anything you could think of is in all these Japanese convenience stores. They truly oh. are convenient. What are the black gum? Braku, braku, I don't know. Braku, oh, braku. yeah, look at these. They're on the hunt for something now for you. I got you what I really wanted to get you. What is this? This is the black, 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 black. Is it black? You came all the way. You came all the way to Japan for black on black. Look at these drinks. Look at look at these. Look at the art and stuff on them. Japanese energy drinks. Really? Right there. Yep. Okay, we'll try these. What's this clear stuff? That is sake. Oh, it's sake. Yeah, sake. Can you just buy sake here in the in the convenience stores? You can buy sake in the convenience stores. You can buy all alcohol through convenience stores. Check out these Red Bulls. Oh, what? Check out. That's crazy. This is magic. Okay, let's get those. Pizza man. Pizza man. It's not bad, right? It's not bad. You know, saucy pizza. Little flavor. saucy, yep. We'll call this the meat man. <laughs> the meat man. Beautiful, steamed meat bun. It's good, right? That's pretty good. Better than a pizza? Yeah, better than a pizza. Oh, I've been wow. here. You're getting internet? Meat? J meat. What? Japanese, J. J meat. <laughs> you got a little bit more specific, Steve? Yeah, why are they laughing all that? <laughs> I don't, I think they just like your style, man. That's what all. are we working with now? Ah, oh, there you go. Yeah. <laughs> Japan, baby, put that down your throat. Chew, chew. Chew, just chew. <laughs> chew it. Chew it. <laughs> chew it. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> it's like, what do you look? Like, you've turned red. Your, your head looks like it's, it's a piece. It's probably an allergic reaction to the shellfish. Oh no, the shell. Oh no, you. <laughs> yeah, I'm allergic to shellfish. What's in this? Oh my god. It's dried squid. Dried squid. I normally bad. drink some sake with this. And it tastes like beef jerky, but it's very chewy. It's almost like a piece of wood, like a piece of balsa wood on the tree. <laughs> Chewing balsa, Japanese balsa wood. Hold on, why aren't they having anything? Oh, there you go. Mm. Japanese, you're not going to challenge Japanese guys with dried squid. How come? Look at his reaction. He's not happy. <laughs> <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. Guys, we have officially made it to the R tuning shop. I'm excited to see what these guys got inside the shop in store for us today. <laughs> the R R35 front bumper on a minivan. This place is so cool. It's the GTR Skyline, Skyline Heaven. So BR. A very well-known tuner in D1. Yep. And this is the owner right here. Mr. Imai. Thank you for having us in your shop. 
Yeah, yeah. yeah. He's heavily involved in the drifting world, D1, in tuning those cars. And you don't for say. <laughs> I, mean, I noticed those yellow cars oh, over there. there. Oh, those are crazy. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Look at these things, you guys. Uh, uh, this is amazing so to have us in here. Three years ago, this car was, reti was retired from D1 drifting. And uh, it hasn't been driven in about three years, he said. Oh! Since then, we're in competition. Oh, oh. <laughs> Look at the lions on this thing. <laughs> wow. Tarbo, that's the way, you how much, how much power does that have? 800, about 800. 800. <laughs> That'll get the job done. <laughs> so much stuff. All right, you're going to love this one. Okay. What does this car look like to you? It looks like an R35, but it looks like they put the front end of an R35 on it. That is correct. It's a Toyota, Toyota powered. It's a 180. It's a, it's a, it's a 180 dressed up like an R35 with a Toyota engine. Really? Yeah. It's so like it's that. fully rebodied. It's like an R35, but this is not an R35. This is a 180? A 180. Jeez. I like how they I like how they do this with the hood. Mm. <laughs> this is a joke, he said. He this said, is a joke? This is for entertainment purposes, yeah. yeah. Six, only, only 600, yeah, only. For a car that weighs nothing because, as you can see, there's nothing, nothing in the back of this. It's all gutted out for, for obviously drifting. So he's been involved with cars all his life, but this shop, he's been running this shop for 30 years now. Whoa. About 40 years in total since he's been involved in the world of drifting Whoa. and tuning. Crazy. Oh. Crazy. 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 <laughs> Ask him if he likes yellow. Kiro ski this guy. <laughs> crazy color. <laughs> He's in the crazy colors. I like it. Good. We'll get along good. We'll get along good. This 180 right here is also going to become customized. He's going to do it a little different than what he did with the R35 theme here. But he's got some ideas. He, I don't think where he's going to tell us fully what it's going to be. Yeah. But he's got plans for this car right this here. This is what is actually the yellow car right there. This is what the yellow car started out looking like. Yep. Get a visual of this. Right, Dave? That's crazy. And then they, they turned... They cool. turned that, <laughs> they turned that into this. So this looks like a one, or sorry, an R35. Full conversion for the drift car. Um, they even put these little side pieces on to give it that slanted look because it's not supposed to look like that. And uh, incredible. Honestly, insane. The imagination and the execution because I thought it was an R35. They're serious about drifting going fast, taking big risks, because these cars are beat up to hell. They're real race cars. Look at this. Yeah. Reminds me of uh, the S55 mark that I put in. So Mr. Imai's most prized possession in this entire place is under this cover right here. He's gonna uncover it and show it to us. This is a bone stock untouched R34. I love that even though this is the home, like this is a domestic car to him. This is his prize possession. Oh, this is his prize possession. Oh, wow. So this is stock paint? It changes color. Yeah, it's almost like purple. Purple so and kind of like blue and green and... It's a called Midnight Purple 3 is the name of the color. That, that must be a rare color. Uh, yeah, it's a, it's a rare color. It's the stock color from an R34. Whoa. Oh, uh, he said just letting it sit for a while and just aging over time. This is kind of faded out, but this this is the original color. A good representation of so, it. So has he bought this since new or did he just buy it? Yeah, he bought it new. Wow. Beautiful <laughs> car. Beautiful. Top of the shop now, guys. Top of the, whoa, <laughs> car parts. Look, Look at this. You want to see some engine blocks? You want to see some, oh. some, some valve trains and some heads? You want to see the heads and other oh stuff? Oh my here, God. Shafts Cam oh. shafts, cr cranks, cranks, cams. So he's been collecting parts for quite a, 40 years in this business. 40 he's been years. been collecting for a long time. <laughs> sir, hey. sir, you have a problem. <laughs> <laughs> He works on older cars. Yeah, he servicing. works. Servicing. Yep. Servicing older cars. And he's totally into manual transmission cars. That's all he's about. So, fact, no, so no no paddles? I don't like paddle shift. No. <laughs> paddle shifters or for girls? <laughs> oh, I'm selling the Huracan. I'm selling the Huracan. We'll just get a couple R34s. What do you think, Dave? 
Couple Dude, of manual conversion in the Huracan. Can't be that hard. A conversion. Ask him if he could convert my Huracan to manual. <laughs> <laughs> this wow. is old school 86 right here. Now you're talking about old school. This stuff. is the real deal. The real deal. Holy. Everything is one off fenders. Everything yeah. is one off built for this car, including the fenders. Everything on this. This is his personal car, his baby. This is his baby. <laughs> he built this one. Wow, look at the cage in the back. That's an R32 turbo, a stock 30 R32 turbo on this car. So. He's, got, he's got about a half, he's got about 30 of them sitting upstairs. So. We come to Japan and you think about, you know, drifting on the streets and where it began and this is this is the this car. Is the, this is the origins, this, this is the roots of it. This is where a lot of this stuff started. All, it's like a carbon fiber door panels, all custom made. Whoa. In the back? Whoa. He goes all out. Everything hand built on this car by him. Wow. So listen, man, he's been tuning cars for a long, long time, and he's very well known in you Japan. There's nobody better than he is when it comes to tuning and doing this. I His brand it. in Japan for tuning, is tuning is BR Wrong. He BR wants people over to your viewers to know that you want Japan's top oh. tuner, you want to know who tunes all kinds of cars, BR Ram is the guy you gotta talk yeah. to. This gentleman. This guy yeah. right We here. got you covered. Yeah. Thumbs up. <laughs> Amazing. There you go. We'll put it in. Slow mo. You guys, so I'll put a link in the description if you guys are looking for JDM tuning, best in the business, right here. Thank you for having us in your shop. Hi. Wow, you guys. No. I feel super honored to be in that building. Cool. You know, it's funny. I've known about this brand since I was like 18 years old looking into building, you know, my own car. And of course I would search out parts and some of the parts that you come across and all the, you know, HKS and BR. I've known about this for like 22 years of my life. And then now full circle come around, meet the gentleman who's the owner and the tuner. I mean, I, it's like, it's, it's very emotional for me in some very unique way. This is really cool. It's amazing, like, how awesome is Japan? How awesome are the people here? Everybody, we've, been, we've been here for like 24 hours. It's been incredible. I, I we've barely gotten started. Big thanks to you, gentlemen. Thank you. Oh, man. Thank we're you. Just, we're just happy you're having fun here. That's, we're that's having a great time. Awesome. By the way, I don't know if you noticed this, Damon. This is cool because this, this is a Toyota, but if you notice the latest Toyotas, unlike the US, they don't put the Toyota badges on the That's front the of the new vehicles one? anymore. This is the El Grand badge that covers the front of this van and, and this big in your face grill is so cool, man. It's really cool. Why don't they have these in the States? I don't know, look at these, the, the headlights. Yep, the mirrors, check out the mirrors. And, and look at the way, yeah, the mirrors are cool. Look yep. at the way that it, it's really got some style to it. Super style. You know, with the, like it's, the, the minivan's got a front lip spoiler. Yep. And then you've got these extra mirrors. And then you got your other side mirror. Get your yep. Toyota emblem back here. Oh! But you don't get it anywhere else in the front of the vehicles anymore. It's really unique. By the way, it's called an Alphard. Ah, oh, this is not the old brand. This is the Alphard, the executive lounge version. So, so this is big money. Big money. And look at that. We even got G Wagons here. But this thing's cooler. Look yeah. how sleek this thing is. It's awesome, dude. Look, look at us all built in here. Look at this. <laughs> It's the AMG of uh, Toyotas. So we got another little shop here to check out. This is our friend from last night. This is our friend from last night. This is the driver of the C63S uh, Mercedes-Benz yesterday. And he is a Liberty Walk dealer here in Tokyo. He just recently opened up this the shop. Latest, greatest R35. Reveal. New Liberty Walk. Reveal right here. Whoa. Nice. Look at this, this color, is... man. That, that color is nuts. Wow. one-off only special made for this car by BBS. Really? Just just hot off the hot off the stamping machine. He's just also it's got air. He just slammed yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, see, this car sits on air, but these wheels are complete one-off BBS custom wheels made for this car. That's pretty special. Look at this seat. This guy's got like the McLaren Senna of a GTR seat. Like of GTR seats, tell, right? Tell him that. He might it's even know. McLaren no Senna ni magenai gurai no naga naga McLaren Senna seat. <laughs> I didn't even know that. So this is Rakara. Rec this is a Rakara seat, yep. Wow. Fits in here real nice. Get that you may want to take yep. notice of. You got like the GT3 uh, RS a, a type. Louvered fender. Louvered fenders. Now yep. that's new on the version two. Okay. 
And these are all new on the version the too. Big the big canards. The big canards. Yeah. yeah, look at the size of these massive canards. This huge splitter, but these are new. I'm a big fan of these. You know what's gonna happen after this trip? You're gonna go back with so many new ideas, Damon, of all the stuff you saw on top of your original ideas, yeah. and I can only imagine what's coming forward for you. Yeah, you know we'll take all this and make some ridiculous <laughs> car. None of us have caught it yet. There's a roof. carbon fiber roof. Guess what you did? Cook out the original metal roof yeah. and replace it with full carbon fiber. How many people have R35s or carbon roofs? I don't think so. I don't think you're gonna see many more on this trip. This thing's <laughs> fat, literally. Yeah. Fat. Fat. And these flames, bro, will come out. The, they, they come about that far on this thing, these flames. Oh, I don't doubt it. Well, I was about to ask if he's got any engine mods, that's, but uh, that we'll solves that, that question. <laughs> so what kind of power is this thing putting out? Oh, yeah. 630. Huh. That'll get the job done. Hey, check this out. What's up? They made the car downstairs as a model. Yeah. Okay, that's a pretty big scale one too. That's oh, there's his Mercedes, the dude, detail. dude. There's your car from last night. <laughs> He's got both of them as models. <laughs> I like it. This is, oh, what yeah. the heck is this thing? Dude, you want to see GTRs? You want to see JDM? Let me introduce you to the latest GTR. What is this? Yeah, this is, it's called a Daihatsu Copen, but this is a Liberty Walk design kit that takes a Daihatsu Copen, a really fun little car, turns it into a mini GTR. That is amazing. amazing. Look at this. <laughs> what? Wow. Yeah. The stuff they do here is like, it's so creative. There's so much thought behind it, right? And so much creativity and ability to take something like this, a nothing little car and turn it into- Look at the wing. This thing is and absolutely amazing. amazing. I don't know, it's in it, it's in it. He's gonna go over windshield with this for you. Uh, They're not bad. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> That's so good. That's so good. Weren't we cute in here? <laughs> you fire the thing up? Ooh. Oh, it sounds good. Rev it, Dave. Almost can't even hear this one. Now that that one started. Okay, hey, you, you go. Your, that's your ride. That's my ride. You go in that one. As my knees almost touch, almost touch right here. <laughs> Look at us. So We're like shoulder to shoulder. <laughs> what kind of car is this? So this is a Daihatsu. It's a, called a Copen. A Copen. Yeah, and this Copen has got the uh, Liberty Walk kit on it. So I love that guys. one before. Ooh. You hear the blow up? The it's blow up. And there was blue and teal like, yeah. in the flame. Whatever he's got done for the tune, the tune's like, it's. I call. I would call it the show off tune. <laughs> I think I would too. The I sound, like that. Noise, the pump. This is awesome. This is so much fun, dude. So much fun. <laughs> What do you mean? It's a hard top? It's a hard top. Okay, go. Let's do this. Go. Go, I want to see this happen. Whoa! That is so sick. Shampoo, baby. 
Oh my god. <laughs> Scraping Where did you go? I got, look at that. I'm literally sitting normal. <laughs> I need a booster seat. <laughs> That's so good. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, we go. His cars are absolutely amazing, you guys. Thank you for having us. Dude, no what's, time to waste. What's going on here? Listen, you're a little tired, you're a little jet lagged, yeah. you're a little little fidgety after coming to Japan. Yeah. You need a little wake up, you need a little energy. I'm gonna this take energy. your energy drink to a new plateau right now. Alright. Black black. Two of these? Two should do you good. Okay. Can I have one? Yeah, Dave, two or one. I'll have one. A couple first bites, you might not notice it, but as you start getting into it, it starts developing and, and, and kind of filling your mouth with flavor. This is the strongest, like, minkiest Ooh. thing I've ever <laughs> hey Guys, look at this, like, freeway system. We just drove around this whole like corkscrew but i mean just appreciate the engineering that goes into the freeway system here almost all the roads here steve you were saying are like elevated elevated that's the elevated word I was roads for. in multiple layers in many cases too so you got bottom roads you got middle look at this here it's layered and it branches off into different things this is daikoku parking area this is where the action happens on Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays, where all kinds of cars show up here, supercars to classic cars. We're coming here tomorrow night, dude, and there's gonna be filled with cars here. So, so this whole so parking lot ends up being like a car show. Like a major car show of the craziest variety that you've ever seen. Who's so it? Yep. We got some uh, gyoza. gyoza. Well, you guys, we're gonna finish eating. Smash the subscribe button. Thanks for watching today's video. We loved having you along for, again, another day of Japanese culture, cars, and of course, the cuisine. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace. We out. Smash it. Bam.